right, boys and girls, as you can see, today's video is all about making bubble letters and fancy letters um, to make your names um, and make a really cool picture with your name on it. Um, so it's going to be a little different. It's a lot more uh, sort of I'll explain a little bit more or a little bit of what we're doing, but a lot more of me kind of just drawing and, and you guys watching um, and then giving it a try and figuring out what works best for you. There are so many different ways. Nothing is right. Nothing is wrong. It's whatever way you like the best. Um, you can think more graffiti. You can think bubble letters. You can just think kind of like... Um, kind of bigger thicker versions of the letters themselves there's so many different ways um so many different materials um to get into it but to start with you're going to need some sort of a piece of paper that could be anything i used white paper for this um and i'll use white paper as we move forward just because it's easier for um to see what i'm doing but if you didn't have white paper or if you wanted to do something um, a little bit different, uh, you could use a paper grocery bag or any sort of paper bag if you cut it down the sides and make it big and flat. That would give you a really big piece of paper to work on. Um, you could take a white piece of paper and decorate it ahead of time. Check out um, my bubble um, painted papers, chalk painted papers, or shaving cream painted paper uh, videos. Those would be really great things to use um, as kind of the background and then put your letters on top. That would be really cool. Um, really, you can use anything you want. But again, to get started, piece of paper, pencil, make sure it has some sort of an eraser or that you have some sort of an eraser on hand. Um, and you actually don't want your pencil to be super sharp and pointy. I know you guys love to have the pointiest of pointy pencils, but when we are starting and sketching, if your pencil is too sharp and pointy, it kind of digs into the paper when you're drawing. And if it's a little bit rounder like this, it'll make it easier for you to erase um, as we're going if you make any mistakes. So gather up your things. Okay, we're going to start um, by figuring out where to start and how to um, think about drawing your bubble letters. I'm going to be using a marker for this only because it helps um, you guys to be able to see what I'm doing on my paper a little bit better. Um, when you guys are doing this, of course, you would like to use a pencil and that way you can erase and make changes as you go. So when you're making bubble letters, the easiest way to think about it is think about a letter and then sort of putting a bubble around it. Um, and really you can do that with any letter. I'll start with a simple one, one I'm gonna be using as I go, cause I'm gonna use my name for this, an L. Now there's two different ways you could go about this. You could just follow the lines of the letter around the outside of it like that. And then what you would do, and I'm just gonna use another marker to mark this here, is you would erase do, 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 do. all that inside line there and you'd be left with the outside bubble you could do the same thing more rounded where those lines are more curvy like this more like a bubble if you would like and then again you would erase all the inside letter now, an L is a pretty simple letter. As you get up there um, with some of your other letters, they might get a little tricky. The, the ones with loops in them um, are ones to be mindful of. So let's say we're gonna do the letter R. Okay, there's my letter. I can start by making my bubble around the outside. Just like this, going all around the outside. Something like that. Oh, I did a marker, I can't erase, but that's okay. Um, the thing to remember is about that inside of the loop. So again, I would then erase all of this piece here. Now, <clears throat> as you guys are going, and let's do another one, just so you can kind of maybe get the, an idea. I'll do a B this time, and I'm gonna use yellow for my inside line just so it doesn't stand out quite as much 
and then I can do my outside around it. That way they're two different colors. Here we go. And if I wanted to, right, I could kind of color that in. Just, I'm not going to do my best, but color it in enough to cover up that line so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, now, some of you, as you practice this more and more, you may decide that you feel comfortable doing it without the inside letter. That is a-okay. Um, drawing the letter first is just a helpful tool that you may end up liking to use, or maybe it doesn't work for you. Maybe you like to just draw the, the letters freehand. Either one is totally fine. And again, this is just really a starting off point. You can get as crazy and creative as you want with your letters as um, you keep drawing. So as you feel comfortable with this, you could play around with how those lines end up looking as you draw them. So you can kind of curve some extra things. You could make some things some extra boxy. Let's see, and some extra curvy. Maybe we'll go this way. Something like that. You could add extra details to things. Really, the options are endless. You just have to keep going at it, keep trying things. If you come up with an idea, give it a try. You don't have to like it when after you try it, but you've given it a try and maybe you will like it. Um, I am now gonna move on to doing two different versions of my name. I am going to do one where the letters are all kind of separate. They're all right next to each other. And then I'm gonna do another one where there's some overlapping and, and the letters all kind of look um, a little bit connected. Um, it sort of turns into to one um, kind of shape rather than a whole bunch of different individual letter shapes. So here we go. tell I just went pretty simple um, and made my letters they're not really touching or connected they're just all right there next to each other um, and then this one I went for more of a rounded and I did that that kind of outline I gave that letter a bubble I wrote each letter first and I went around the outside of it um, and then I did a lot of erasing and I used a lot of oval shapes to help me um, make those nice rounded bubbles bubble letters um, and I also in order to make it look like they're all kind of touching and that there's one and it's in front of another one um, as I was going I did a letter and then as I did the next letter I erased part of that second letter anywhere where the first one was kind of on top of it was overlapping and that makes everything kind of look like um, it's touching um, now from here you could do a couple different things with your name. You could color them in on your paper, um, which I'm gonna show you some ways that you can color them in next. Or you could also cut them out and glue them onto something else. Or use, you could cut this whole thing out, especially where it's all connected or each letter individually. Um, and you could use it to, as like a stencil almost. You could kind of paint all over the top of it and then peel it off. Or if you had a, um, a spritz bottle, you could put some watered down paint in there and kind of spritz on top of it. Or um, if you're allowed to do some splatter painting at your house, can get messy, but it's gonna be nice out the next few days. That would be really fun um, if you cut out um, the letters, put them on another piece of paper and then splatter it on top of them. And once the paint was um, on there, you could very carefully peel off your letters um, and have a really cool background. And then where the letters were, would just be plain white and you could go in and decorate them um, in a different way from there. 
Um, but if you choose just to leave them on your paper as is, a uh, couple different things to think about. Number one um, is markers and crayons together work really nicely. If you have the option and have markers and crayons at home, super fun thing to do is to start with some markers um draw whatever patterns designs outlines you want and then kind of color in with crayons i'm going to do that i think on this one um and then this one up here i'm actually going to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional a little more 3d and i'm going to give it a little bit of a shadow a little extra piece that kind of sticks off um parts of the side of each of the letters um and so you can kind of check out how to do that. Both are really cool options. Um, and again, these are just kind of two ideas to get you started. You guys can come up with all sorts of other ideas to do this as well. So um, markers and crayons in this one. Uh, not sure what material I'll use to uh, give this the 3D, but markers, crayons, colored pencils, something like that um, for these two. And uh, I hope this gives you some ideas. All right, here I go. I have my two different name examples. All my letters are all colored in, but now they're just on a white piece of paper and I want to do more. Um, the fun thing about this is since it's your name, as you're deciding what, how you're going to decorate the letters and then next what you're going to do around the outside of it, think about things that you like or that are important to you or whatever it may be so that when the person looking at this kind of gets to learn a little bit of something about you. They look at it and they go, oh, okay, this is this is what's interesting to that person. Now, again, however you go about this is up to you. You might go through some magazines and recycled materials and you may collage, you may cut things out and glue them on there. Um, you may just decide that you're gonna make sure that you use all your favorite colors um, and that the designs and patterns you use are things that you like to look at. Um, you may decide that you're going to draw pictures of things or people who are important to you. Maybe you like to read and do art and ride your bike and play soccer. Maybe you're going to draw a picture of each one of those things. Um, maybe you are a super big fan of baseball. Baseball is your favorite sport. Maybe you're going to make this background look like a baseball diamond. You can do whatever you would like to your backgrounds. Um, and it's really up to you how you finish these off. I am going to finish uh, working on both of these so that the backgrounds are not left white. Um, I have a couple ideas. I'll let you let you watch and see what I come up with. Um, and that's really the end of our directions. I don't really have anything more to tell you guys other than get creative, give things a try, use a scrap piece of paper, use something that's in the recycle bin, something that's just going to get thrown away. Use it to practice these letters and writing before you get there so that when you get to draw it on your paper, you feel comfortable and you can move maybe not as quick as me. I've had a lot more practice, but pretty quickly through those letters and you don't feel like super frustrated as you're going and you can have fun with it. So I'm going to have fun adding in my backgrounds on both of these. Here we go.
Anyway, boys and girls, I've been going a little crazy, making all different kinds of um, bubble letter name pictures. I have this one, which you saw me make. Um, and the cool thing with all those polka dots that I added, because it was watercolor and because the paint underneath was wet, when I put that fresh wet paint on it, it sort of started to bleed out. It started to spread out on its own and kind of blend in. It came out really cool. Um, I have this one, which you also saw me make, and I did that really cool outline on there. Um, I cut these out and glued it onto a background paper. Super fun. And then these ones, I just started getting creative, adding some extra, um, extra kind of interesting details, things that I think look nice and things that I like. Can you tell I like flowers, the ocean and being outside? Um, and this one, I had a really fun time coming up with a, a fun, different way to make the letters. Um, and this one... I don't know that it's quite done yet, but um, I decided to, for each letter, turn it into a different kind of art supply. So I've got some rulers, little paint palette, scissors, pencil, and a roll of paper. Um, so these are just some ideas that I came up with, and I actually have a whole lot more, but don't want to spend all of the time um, doing all these different things since I have some other fun project ideas in my head as well. Um, but I hope this gives you some ideas um, to get you started and that you guys will come up with some awesome, awesome, awesome um, name pictures to be able to share with me. Get creative, get working. See you later. Bye.